And I'm Jackie Parks. Vacant house fires caused by squatters, a problem that gets worse as we approach the cooler winter months. And 23 ABC's James Johnson joins us now live from a home in Oildale that caught fire yesterday and explains how you can prevent one of these fires from happening in your neighborhood. James. Jackie, these types of fires can happen anywhere there's an empty home and people looking for shelter, but there are things you could do to make sure fires like this don't happen in your neighborhood. They destroy everything and catch it on fire. Jennifer Scott and Julie Gibbs agree squatters living inside vacant homes are a problem. One of these empty houses went up in flames just yesterday in their neighborhood. There's a lot of people that come through here. They use it for... I mean, from teenage kids to older people. They ain't, got, they ain't got no money, they ain't got their homeless, so they just find abandoned houses. And basically, this one right here was just like for, uh, for drug use. The number of house fires typically increases during the cooler months, and the Bakersfield Fire Department says fires caused by squatters are becoming more frequent because there are so many vacant homes in the city. Once the temperatures start dipping, uh, the homeless population, they're looking to stay warm. So they're going to look for places where they can hold up that they're not out in the weather. The fire department, law enforcement, and city code enforcement try to remove squatters by doing neighborhood sweeps. The fire department also works with the nonprofit Flood Ministries, an organization dedicated to reducing homelessness. The great thing about Kern County is we have lots of caring organizations that work very well together. Flood has helped many homeless transition out of homelessness by working with them long term to get them in their own home and off the streets. Or you see someone that's living on the streets or living in an abandoned house, um, we need you to call because that's how we're going to find them. We, we can't find every person in every abandoned house without the community's help. Being proactive and reporting suspicious activity in your neighborhood is your best defense to protect you and your family. We want to keep that transient population out of those vacant homes and get them into, you know, the homeless shelter, someplace where, we, where they can be cared for. Flood Bakersfield Ministry started in Kern County in 2006 and became a nonprofit in 2008. And just this past year, was able to help their 1,000th family find a home. Reporting live from Oildale, James Johnson, 23 ABC. And a vacant